So uh, hello everyone. My name is Kunal and I'm your mathematics tutor. And today we are going to start our new chapter, which is uh, actually a differential equation. Let's start our new chapter. Its name as uh, differential equation. And today is our lecture number one. So first we define what is differential equation and uh, and its important concept as well. Okay. So let me tell you what is actually differential equation. So I'm telling uh, okay, what is differential equation is. So an equation uh, that involves a certain independent variables. You all guys are familiar with the word variable and constants and uh, dependent variable and the derivative of a uh, derivative word you all are familiar with like differentiation uh, derivatives of the dependent dependent variable with respect to uh, independent variable independent variable uh, is called uh, differential equation so let me tell you actually what i'm trying to say so you all guys are familiar like what is dependent and what is independent variable. So let me try to show you. Uh, let us suppose our uh, we have a quadratic equation x square plus x plus 1. Okay. So uh, this is an equation. This is uh, an equation, right? Uh, if we equate it to 0. But what, I, what if I am telling you like only y is equal to x square plus x plus 1. So this is an expression. So what I'm trying to say you is, you can put any value of x. X here is independent. Basically, can I mean that x cap any value input kar sakte ho. X can take any input value. But, but y is dependent on x. Whatever you input in x is reflect the result on y. Dependent on x so let me show you by example ki if i put uh, x is equal to 0 so the value of y is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1 1 if i put x is equal to 1 so the value of y is something 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 so it varies as x varies y varies as x varies y vary kar raha hai jaise jaise x vary kar raha so y is dependent on the value of x if the if the value of x is 0 so the value of y is 1 if the value of x is 1 so the value of y is 3 so y is dependent variable here so what i am trying to say is ki y is dependent variable dependent variable and x is independent variable from now on uh, what i am trying to say is ki now differential equation so the differential equation is uh, something let me tell you the example of differential equation, how it is connected with uh, uh, the derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable. So, the first concept that we learned that dependent and independent variable care, right? So, dependent variable is the one that is value on another variable's value. Pe kar ho. Like y here depends on the value of x. As x varies, y also varies. Right. So the y is dependent variable and x can take any value. So x will be independent variable. Now, uh, now let me tell you the example of a differential equation. is something like dy by dx plus cos x is equal to 0. So here see, uh, x is independent and y is dependent and cos x is some variable. So there is an equation written where a, a derivative of a, of a independent variable with respect to basically derivative of an dependent variable with respect to independent variable here written where x is independent. So according to our e expression and definition of differential equation, there is there will be a, a, def, a derivative of an but uh, actually, what is our y? Our y is, let me write here, this is actually dependent. 
so the derivative of an dependent variable with respect to independent variable so let me try to read it here derivative of dependent variable with respect to independent variable is called differential equation and certain uh, dependent and independent variable so these are variables so this is an example of differential equation now uh, another example or definition first try to learn the definition like ordinary ordinary differential equation so what is ordinary differential equation yeah it's short form is like o d e ordinary differential equation so uh, uh basically uh, a differential equation uh which containing which containing uh, only one independent variable okay this me bus a key independent variable let me tell you give you the example so there will be like d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx and plus some variable is equal to 0 so let us uh, look at this example very carefully here only the x is the variable which is independent okay so this is actually called ordinary differential equation so a differential equation which has only one independent variable which has only one independent variable and in this example which is the independent variable x x is the only uh, independent variable now the next thing is a uh, partial differential equation partial differential equation what is partial differential equation so uh, basically a differential equation which containing uh, more than one more than one independent variables so let me give you the example of this so we can write as like aapne uh, chemistry mein wo padha hoga schrodinger equation uh, in atomic structure so wo bhi kya hai it is also an example of partial differential equation so uh, schrodinger equation aapne 11th mein padha hoga atomic structure mein so uski jo equation hai wo bhi kiski example hai partial differential equation ki that will be by del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z is equal to 0. So let us uh, look at this example very carefully. Uh, here x is independent, y is independent and z is independent. x, y and z are independent variable. Right? Uh, basically, the, uh, in differential equation, we take the derivative of a dependent variable with respect to independent variable so the independent variable will be x y and z and i i hope these things were clear to you now we move to the uh a topic which is name as order of differential equation actually this is important so try to uh learn very carefully or ye kafi aage tak iski use aane wali hai so let's start our topic which is order of uh, order of a differential equation first define it what is an order of a differential equation so uh, order is defined as uh, order of a d d for differential equation order of a d is the is the order of the highest differential coefficient present in a equation basically ek equation mein jitni badi highest the highest differential coefficient present hai wahi uski kya hogi order hogi so let me tell you uh, by an example look at this x dy by dx plus y uh, like uh, log x and plus and let me erase it here it is not no plus that is and is equal to x e to the power x okay so look at here the highest differential coefficient look at here this this is our differential and the highest differential coefficient it's it's of order one right 
So this differential equation, the order of this differential equation will be one. We have to just uh, look the highest differential coefficient. Okay, so its order will be one. Let me try to elaborate it again. That works. Uh, जैसे यहाँ पे है सबसे पहले dy by dx मेरी मेरी डेरिवेटिव है और इसकी कोई फिशेंट क्या है x और x पे max power कितनी है if I tell you uh, the order of a polynomial of x to the power n uh, plus dot 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 one so what its order the maximum power on the x is the order or degree whatever it's called as so it will be n right so i am trying to say is ki if ki the order of differential equation is equal to coefficient of uh, co basically highest coefficient of highest coefficient of uh, differential coefficient highest coefficient of differential ओके सो आई थिंक यू ऑल एंड वो एग्जांपल्स अच्छे से और समझ में आ जाएगी सो डोंट ट्राई टू वरी अबाउट इट नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज लाइक डिग्री ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द डिग्री ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो द डिग्री ऑफ लेट मी डिफाइन इट फर्स्ट बाय डेफिनेशन सो अ डिग्री ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज द हाईएस्ट is the highest power of the highest order derivative present in the equation now uh, there is a case theek hai to a degree of differential equation uh, basically hota kya hai ki is the highest power of the highest order of the derivative and now the we, we all know that the order of derivative is what is the order of derivative like look at this uh let me write it here for short notes dy by dx is of one order d square y by dx square is of second order hai na so these are the order of the derivative i hope this thing was clear to you now let's move on to the next thing uh when when all the differential coefficient in equation are in polynomial और ठीक है पॉलिनोमियल फॉर्म सो फ्री फ्रॉम रेडिकल एंड फ्रैक्शन दिस इज द केस ठीक है तो वेन ऑल द डिफरेंशियल कोफिशियंट इन डिक्वेशन आर इन पॉलिनोमियल फॉर्म सो इट दैट मीन्स इट्स फ्री फ्रॉम द रेडिकल एंड फ्रैक्शन आई होप दिस थिंग वॉज क्लियर टू यू सो लेट मी ट्राई टू गिव यू सम एग्जाम्पल और प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू हैव टू फाइंड द order and degree of a differential equation okay so let me try to explain you here question number 1 so there will be y dash is equal to ax plus b so you have to calculate the order and the degree and what is order is so the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest differential coefficient present in the equation right and degree kya hoti hai the highest power of the highest order derivative present so look at here this is like dy by dx is equal to ax plus b so what is its order and what is its degree so look at here uh uh the coefficient of the the basically the coefficient of highest differential which is 1 kyunki yahan pe 1 hai na and the order of and basically the power the power the highest power of the highest order derivative will be also one so it will be one one i think this, this thing was clear to you now let's move on to the question number 2 so uh, let me take you the example you all guys are familiar with this symbol y dash is equal to dy by dx y double dash is equal to d2y by dx2 hai na okay so like y double dash is equal to 2 by 3 plus 2 plus y dash look at here here the uh, basically highest differential coefficient 
इज विथ फ्रैक्शन पार्ट राइट यहाँ पे इसके पावर में फ्रैक्शन है सो वट यू हैव टू डू हमने पहले देख रखा है कि हम ऑर्डर एंड डिग्री तभी डिफाइन करते हैं जब इट जो पॉलिनोमियल हो जो इक्वेशन हो दे वर फ्री फ्रॉम फ्रैक्शन और एडिकल्स सो वट आई टू डू जस्ट आई टू जस्ट फ्री इट सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू यूर जस्ट क्यूब बोथ साइड सो लेट्स डू इट यूर क्यूबिंग बोथ साइड सो वट यू विल गेट यूर विल गेट वाई डबल डे स्क्वेर is equal to uh, 2 plus y dash ki whole cube so what we will get here watch it here uh 8 plus y dash cube plus uh, 4 y dash square plus 8 y dash is equal to y double dash hai na ki whole square so look at here Yeah. What is the order of differential equation? The order of differential equation is. I'm again repeating. The ha. Uh, the order of differential equation is the ha. Uh, basically, the coefficient of highest differential. Okay. Order of a differential equation is the order of the highest differential coefficient. Highest differential coefficient. So this. So this like the point. I have a d2y by dx to be a. And here, we dy by dx be. But we have to take the highest differential coefficient. Order of a differential equation is the order of the highest differential coefficient, which is equal to two. So order is how much? And the degree is the highest power, the highest power of the highest order. The highest order is two. So two pe kitti power hai? Like d two y by dx two pe kitti power hai? Two, so it will be two. So order two, degree two. I I hope these things were clear to you. Now let's move on to the next problem. There was itti problems all over, right? Now the other side, my idea, order and degree clear to learn yar. Okay. So let's uh, uh, let's take some another example. So there will be like y double dash is equal to y plus uh, y dash to the power six. To the power one by four. Look at here. This polynomial is written in form of fractional power or some radical, right? So what we have to do? We have to convert it into a uh, free from the radical and free from the fractional power. So what we have to do? We have to just uh, do the uh, basically uh, fourth power increase. Got that? Yeah, both side. So there will be get uh, one. So let me write it here. Y dash to the power six. To the power one because uh, four into one by four that will be counted as one. Now, yeah, but they go. Then we have to order and how to calculate it. Order and degree calculate it. So the look here. What is order? What is order? I am again saying this again and again. Repeat it so that you will remember. Definition of order is not a problem. So the order of a differential equation is the order of the highest differential coefficient. यहाँ पे देखो डी टू वाई बाई डी एक्स टू लिखा है इसकी डिफरेंशियल कोई भी यहाँ पे डी वाई बाई डी एक्स है हालांकि इसकी पावर ज्यादा है बट वी हैव टू टेक दी हाइएस्ट डिफरेंशियल कोई भी सेट तो हाइएस्ट डिफरेंशियल कोई भी सेट किसका है ये सेकेंड एरिवेटिव है ना बेसिकली ये सेकेंड एरिवेटिव है सो इट्स ऑर्डर विल बी टू बिक बिकॉज इट इज दाइएस्ट डिफरेंशियल कोई भी सेट प्रेजेंट नाउ द डिग्री विल बी द डिग्री विल बी नथिंग बट दी हाइएस्ट पावर The highest power on the highest order derivative. So here the highest order derivative. Which one is it? And this power is how much? Four. So its value will be. I hope these things were clear to you. Now let's check the another example. Uh, the fourth example something look like uh, y of double dash minus x y of triple dash. Hey, what triple dash? What does it mean? The third derivative. The third derivative that means d q y by d x q. Okay, so q whole q plus y to the power five plus l n x plus y is equal to zero. So look at here. We have to just tell the order and the degree. So the order of the basically, what do you call it? Order of the. Uh, uh, What I'm trying to say here is that the order of the this differential equation is 
nothing but the order of the highest differential coefficient. So the highest differential coefficient here is 3, so it will be 3. And uh, the degree is the uh, highest power on the highest, uh, highest power on the highest order of derivative. So it also will be 3. So our order is also 3 and degree is also 3. Now let's move on to some, uh, some tricky question so that you can understand what I'm trying to say is uh, look at here. Question number five. Our question is log of dy by dx is equal to d square y by dx square and plus 3x. Okay. So here uh, is one thing. Like first we have to free this uh, dy by dx term. So what we will get? We get e to the power uh, y double dash plus 3x. Now on, from now on, look at here, look at here, uh, this is the actually highest differential coefficient present in this equation, so the order will be 2, right, but if you look at its power, its power is 1, kya iski degree 1 hogi, nahi ho. its degree is not defined, why? Because when all differential coefficient in the equation are in polynomial form, it should be free from radical, fraction, or from any functions. Aapne ye, yehi line, yaha pe maine likh rakhi hai, it's free from the radical, free from the fraction, and free from the any kind of function. But it's in the function of e to the power x, and where x is replaced by y double dash plus 3x. I hope you'll all understand that what I'm trying to say. It is a part of a function. It, it is into a form of any function. Which is like e to the power x ke form mein hai ye. So that's why its degree is not defined. Okay. I hope you'll all understand this what I'm trying to say. Okay. So now on, ye ho gaya degree pe sari baatchit. Now let's uh, write a note point and try to move on to the next topic. So the noted point is every, every differential equation represent family of curves. Family of curves having some common property. So this is the geometrical interpretation of differential equation. I think this will be clear to you. Basically, ye ek, uh, uh, family of curve ko represent karti hai, jis mein kuch kuch chijay common property hai. Now we are moving to the next topic, which is actually how to form a differential equation. How to form a differential equation. Okay, so let me write it here some steps okay these steps to be followed first rearrange the way a pali lecture hai, it's uh, it's more and more dependent on theory and then we learn its implementation like how to use it in uh, and some more and more cases they can get and that will be clear so let me write it here these steps of the of the uh, of the like uh, to how to form the differential equation. Okay, so first rearrange the equation. Rearrange the equation to have to have the minimum number of arbitrary operators. Actually, parameters. Okay, now on, uh, and the second step is uh, differentiate and eliminate all the arbitrary parameters. Okay, now uh, there is a thing that you have to learn. Differentiating the uh, equation same number of times as the number of arbitrary parameter present after minimizing. So, what I have written in this line, I will explain to you. 
आपके पास कोई एक इक्वेशन दिया रहेगा एंड आपको कहा जाएगा कन्वर्ट दिस इक्वेशन इन टू डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन तो आपको करने क्या है कि जितने भी आर कोई त्रेरी पैरामीटर्स हैं उनको आपने पहले मैनिपुलेट करके रिमूव करनी है एज पॉसिबल जितना रिमूव हो सके ठीक है देन आफ्टर डिफरेंशिएट करें एंड जो बचे हुए आर्बिट्रेरी जो कि सिंपल मैनिपुलेशन से नहीं रिमूव हो रहे हैं आपको आपको उन्हें डिफरेंशिएट करनी है उस इक्वेशन को एंड देन ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट दोज ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट दोज पैरामीटर दोज आर्बिट्रेरी पैरामीटर दैट सेट आपका बस यही काम है आपने समझ मारी है मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ लेट मी टेल यू अगेन वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू से सबसे पहले आपके पास एक क्वेश्चन दी हुई होंगी मैं अभी एग्जाम्पल लेके बताऊंगा कि कैसे स्टेप्स को फॉलो करनी है बट फर्स्ट ट्राई टू मेमोराइज इट बिकॉज दिस स्टेप्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वो दिमाग में फिट हो जाने चाहिए सो लेट मी टेल यू अगेन फर्स्ट वॉट यू हैव टू टेल देर देर इज अक्वेशन गिवेन यहाँ पर इक्वेशन दी हुई होंगी एंड वॉट यू हैव टू डू You have to first remove some arbitrary uh, parameters by simple manipulations. Okay, जितने भी हट गई मतलब remove हो गई हो गई और जो नहीं remove हो रहा जो नहीं remove हो रहा उन्हें क्या करनी है उन्हें क्या करनी है कि जो equation आया उसे differentiate करो and eliminate the rest of the arbitrary parameters. So our main target is so our main target is to remove the arbitrary parameter so the equation automatically will convert it into differential equation i hope these two step will clear to you now there is an important uh, no, uh, basically note point is we have to differentiate the same number of times as the number of parameter arbitrary parameter present in the equation okay so uh, these are actually theoretical talks so let me tell you by and give you some example so that these were clear to you okay so let us suppose this is our example number 1 we are learning how to form the differential equation okay so this is our actually y is equal to a e to the power x plus b so look at here y is my dependent look at first write it here try to understand y is our dependent variable because it's depend on value of x it's clear dependent variable x is our independent variable then what is our a and b those a and b are our arbitrary parameters that देखो जो भी टर्म्स लेफ्ट बच जाए ना जो भी टर्म्स लेफ्ट बच जाए डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल के बाद वो सारे टर्म क्या होंगे आर्बिट्रेरी हो गया ओके सो आई होप यूल ऑल अंडरस्टैंड दिस व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सो देर विल बी ए टू दावर एक्स प्लस बी सो लेट एस and so a and b is our uh, arbitrary arbitrary parameter okay so this is our arbitrary parameter now so first maine kya bataya tha ki do some manipulation and try to remove the arbitrary as possible and then what you have to do you have to just differentiate and uh, and and you get the favorable differential equation so there is two basically arbitrary so what i can write it into as a e to the power b into e to the power x we are using just the uh, like uh, prod what it's called a basic exponential property like a to the power x plus b is equal to a plus a to the power a plus b is equal to nothing but a to, a to the power a into a to the power b i i hope this thing were you are aware from that basic uh, property of exponent right now so we can write this constant into one term which is k to the power 
else. Right? We can write this into one term, right? K, K into e to the power x. Okay. Now, uh, now what I have, now what I am telling you is, uh, now what I have to do in second step, I have to just differentiate. Okay, so, so the dy by dx is uh, equal to, uh, what is the differentiation of this? What is it? K e to the power x as well. Put change in here, no? And this term we can write it into y. This is also equal to y. Our differential equation is dy by dx minus y is equal to zero. I hope this thing was clear to you. We, we can also write into this y is equal to y. Okay. I think this was clear to you. I know. Kitna handa. Kuch bhi amani karni thi. I was subse pehle arbitrary jo bhi constant hai usko manipulate karke. Matlab basic property vagera la ke usko hata dena hai. And then we have to just differentiate and we get to the final differential equation. I know. Let's take one more example. And uh, okay. So the next example is something like uh, let me write it. Here. So the next example is let me take that. Y is equal to A cos X plus B sin X. Okay. So how can you do that? Because A and B are obviously our arbitrary parameters. So what you have to do? Differentiate it. Because A B ko remove nahi hai, na? so you can you have, so you have to differentiate it. So, so when you differentiate this, what you get? Uh, y dash is equal to differentiate with respect to x. So it will be minus a sin x and plus uh, b cos x. Differentiate for the equal or. So what you will get? Minus a sin x cos x and cos x minus sin x. Look at here. What you will get from here? Y double dash is equal to minus if you take common cos x plus b sin x. And it is same as what is y is written here. Look at here. This is our y and this is actually same. So what you can write? Y double dash is equal to minus y. This is our differential equation. Okay. So uh, these are actually some thing that we have to learn. So actually, let me recall it first. So we have differential equation. Actually, what is it? Then we have seen ordinary in which there is one independent variable. Partially differential, which we have seen example of the ordinary equation, is the example of partially differential equation, uh, which has more than one independent variable. Then we have seen order of differential equation, which is actually the highest differential coefficient, the order of the highest differential coefficient. Then we have seen degree, dekha, highest power on the highest, uh, highest power on the highest derivative. जो भी प्रेजेंट है उस पे फिर हमने उस पे एग्जांपल कर लिया एंड देन वी नो कि व्हाट इज द ज्योमेट्रिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ एनी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो इट रिप्रेजेंट अ फैमिली ऑफ कर्व व्हिच हैव समथिंग इन कॉमन देन हमने देख लिया हाउ टू फॉर्म अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड उस पे क्वेश्चन करें नाउ नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग वर्ड प्रॉब्लम लाइक वो लिखी होगी बट फर्स्ट ट्राई टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज समथिंग लाइक दिस y square is equal to m into a square minus x square. Try to solve this. So what do you have to do? Uh, first differentiate, right? Because a is our arbitrary. And we can't do anything, any manipulation. So we can remove that arbitrary parameter. So what you have to do? Differentiate. So actually, 2y y dash is equal to this becomes 0 and it will be minus 2x. So these two and these two get cancel. What we will get? We'll get y into y dash is equal to minus of 2x. Minus of mx. Minus of mx. Equally or differentiate kar dite hai na? So differentiate once again. So what we will get? y dash. Basically y dash ki whole square aja ki na If first we, we are using the product rule. There will be y double dash, y dash, and there will be minus m. 
and uh, okay now what we can write here for m because we have to remove the arbitrary parameter so we can write m is equal to y into y dash by x this is our actually m so try to write it here so y dash square plus y double dash y dash is equal to uh, the value of minus m in that thing what y y dash by m. so this is our differential equation you play okay so you so you just have to follow the step you automatically get to the result okay so that's all for today's guys and uh copy the theory part of negarlia so in tomorrow's lecture we are gonna first deal with some problems which is mostly like word problems only so and then we learn something new okay thank you